Hi all, welcome back to another reaction video. And on this one, it's still new release Monday. And this is gonna be my third and final one for this Monday. Um, it's a group called Mayan, Mayana, um, on Nuclear Bass called, this song is called Saints Don't Die, released a couple of days ago. Um, yes, as usual, it comes off the new release lists. I don't mind people telling me if there's something new out there so I can put it on new release Mondays as well, that's a suggestion. Doesn't bother me. Just letting you know, you can suggest these things as well. Uh, I don't always catch all the songs out there. There's probably plenty of bands I'll uh, see coming up and go, oh, I could have done that for new release Monday as well. Oh, oh, I'm gonna have to do that now. Right, and it's not even on that day. Ah, oh well. Uh, but never heard of these again. So again, it's could be a, I've got 29,000 views. It was only a couple of days ago, so I think people know about them. Um, so, uh, could be a symphonic metal band, could be a power metal band. There's a female vocalist leading them. <sighs> can mean anything, of course, really, but a lot of time it's more symphonic style. But uh, we shall see. Let's see what Mayan, Mayan, Ma or however you pronounce it, go. I'm just staring at me. Oh, he stopped. Sounds symphonic. That was classical. How about the drum is going on? Focus of the three.
Okay, man, the saints don't die. Um, how many vocalists? Yeah, five. Started off operatic, over the topness. Thought, ooh, like the start. But will it be like this all the way through? A bit like Xandria or something? Can it be like too much? And then she was gone. She was bucking off. This bloke came along. And it was like, those sort of gr gritty vocals. Rawr, yeah. Sort of vocals, and then he was joined by this guy out of a hardcore band, should have been Suicidal Tendencies or something, uh, doing some uh, growling. Didn't really add anything to it at all, uh, but uh, you know, he was there. He was, he was, and then uh, another lady turned up to sing more normal style vocals, and uh, she was pretty good as well. And then another growler came along, well, harsh vocalist came along, and he was much better than the uh, Suicidal Tendencies guy who should be somewhere else. Um, but all in all, it was uh, a great little song. It was a great little song. Nothing wrong about it at all. Nothing bad at all. It was uh, quite unique without all those vocalists. I mean, it's the main guy who sang the, you know, the gritty more vocalist, the main vocalist in that band, and these were all guests. Or are they all part of the same band? Five vocalists. It wasn't even one of the uh, other guitar players, drummer, whatever, bassist singing, keyboard player singing, no, it was just other singers coming on and going like, hey, listen to me, it's my turn to be in the spotlight. Is that the way through the whole album, or are those just guests for this song? Very interesting. In fact, the fact that there were so many vocalists detracted from the sound a bit, I think, from the song. Um, I didn't pay as much attention to the song as I was going like, right, the one coming, the one coming, the one coming, no, oh, darn it. Uh, but it was very classical in style, very operatic in style, um, over the top. It was symphonic. It was a symphonic shot song, really. I really liked it. And my nose is going again, though. Ah, I'm not going to be able to do any for a while at this rate. Ah, damn you, colds or wherever you are coming in. Uh, so I'll stop now before I start going, Hello, it's me. Uh, it's me you're looking for. Probably not. People are going, oh no. Um, so, without further ado, I'll say like the video, subscribe, share, do everything that you normally do. Um, get the word out. Get the word out that this old man keeps looking at interesting music. And sounds like he's at the bottom of a well with his nose. And I'll see you for another one. Bye.